geotropism. Here, our aim is to find out whether the downward growth of the root, that is geotropism, is caused by the attraction of the gravity by using an instrument known as clinostat. The curvature moment of the root toward the gravity is called geotropism. The curvature moment of the shoot away from the gravity is called as apogeotropism. Sometimes it refers to the negative geotropism or phototropism, means that is towards the source of light. This curvature moment, that is the geotropism and apogeotropism, can be inhibited by altering the gravity and lateral light, where clinostat is such an instrument which is used to eliminate the effect of lateral light and the force of gravity of an organ of the plant. Material required is a small, lightweight, well potted plant. Here I have taken a monocot seedling and used cocoa peat. and a clinostat instrument which is used to demonstrate the geotropism. It is it contains a motor which have a rotation of 5 rotation per minute. And it is slowly rotated by electric mechanism where this rotation gives the plant which is which is attached to the clinostat an equal stimulation of the gravity all over the plant. Now we have connected the clinostat with the electric power. It is slowly rotating. Now we fit the potted plant on the horizontal rods of the clinostat. We have kept a light weight to balance the clinostat. Another setup is also made in the same manner but it is not rotated by using clockwork mechanism. Keep both the setup for a few days to grow. After a few days, you will observe in the first setup, that is clinostat setup, plant shoots as well as root do not show any curvature. In the second setup, shoots bends away from the force of gravity. As a result, they grow upward, but roots grow towards the gravity, hence they grow towards the soil. In the clinostat setup, we can observe taking a seedling or sap, sapling where we can't find any curvature in the shoot as well as in the root because it has maintained the gravity and lateral light equally distributed 
therefore it doesn't show any curvature in the second setup you can see there is a curvature movement in the shoot as well as in the roots the shoots are apogeotropic therefore it bends away from the light source and shoots are geotropic in nature and grow towards the soil or the gravity our observation has concluded that in the first setup the plant shoots as well as root do not show any curvature in the second setup shoots bends away from the force of gravity as a result they grow upward but roots grows toward the gravity hence they grow towards the soil both apogeotropism and geotropism are controlled by the distribution of an plant hormone called auxin within the plant cells in geotropism auxin will accumulate on the lower side as well as in apogeotropism also the auxin will accumulate on the lower side or the dark side of the plant where both the condition the auxin or accumulate on the back side of the cells but in root it inhibit the cell growth but in stem it stimulate the cell growth in root you can find that auxin inhibit cell growth and lower cell layer are shorter and turns towards the gravity or away from the light in stem auxin stimulate the cell growth and the lower cell layer is longer and turn up towards the light or away from the source of gravity therefore the stems are apogeotropic in nature and roots are geotropic in nature geotropism along with auxin is triggered by a large starch grains known as statolith statolith are starch grains which are where in the root cap a special cells are present these cells contain statolith that collect toward the bottom of the containing cells in response to the gravity therefore if the root is moved the statolith turns to the new position always settling in the direction of the gravity that is the statolith direct the growth of roots toward the force of gravity but in setup of uh, clinostat this distribution of auxin and the statolith are maintained equal equal amount all over the plant cells